Now yeah. your hair. Is there a meaning behind your hair? What you mean by meaning? Like, is there a reason why you have locks? Uh, you know, some people no, have I, meanings I, behind it. Some people don't. At first, asking. I used to get, I, I got tired of getting my hair cut and shit. So I got locks. But now I be getting tired of getting my shit did. So ain't no real meaning behind it. I wanted to get them. Bitches. How long have you been growing this? Like, how many years is this that we see right now in front of us? How many years have I grown this? I don't know, shit with time, shit. Shit with time, shit. This looks like it took a little while. Shit, Doesn't probably like something like, that was quick. I don't even know, shit. I don't know. I don't, don't know pay shit attention. Time. Four, three, two it, years. How long do you plan on growing it? Or are you going to keep it cut at a certain length? Or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to my shit get right here. So shit, I'm going to be chopping my shit every time. So about chest up. Yeah. Now, something that I've been seeing with men that I haven't seen before, I've seen guys rocking fake locks, fake braids recently. Right. Now, I've never seen that before. What is your opinion of that? That shit's gay. That shit fools him. Fetty Wap did that shit though, but that shit fools. Fetty Wap's done it. Rich Homie Kwan has done it. A couple people. I didn't know Rich Homie did that. Yeah, he did, and he took it out. He's back to his normal hair, how people see yeah. him when he first came back on the scene. That shit, that shit fool. That's one of the things. When my shit was ugly, I had to go through that shit. My shit was bogus as hell. You gotta go through that shit to get to some length or some shit. Now, have you faced or felt discrimination, stereotyping, or profiling because of your hair? Shit. I, I, felt, I felt it without the hair, so I don't know if it be the hair or not. So, shit, yeah, I felt it then. I've heard people have been uh, mistaken identity with the police. Like, police might have been looking for somebody that fit a description with locks and stuff like yeah, that, and yeah. they, they targeted a person that they thought was that person and it wasn't that person. Yeah, yeah, in Chicago, in the city, it'd be like that shit. That's why I just dab my shit, though. Because I used to run to motherfuckers in, in the Chicago, like, like, damn, you look like C.D. Hunt, so I'd be playing along with they yeah, like, damn, for real? Oh, now, so people, so people actually thought you were C. Dot Honcho, and yeah. you played like you weren't. Like, oh, some silly <laughs> shit. Well, I ended up telling them I was me though, but I had to change my dread color so motherfucker instantly know. You know, I need to get my look to instantly know who the fuck I am when you see me, man. I see. 